Hillary Clinton was left humiliated on Thursday, and truthfully, it's her own damn fault. Juanita Broderick, one of the victims who has accused Bill Clinton of rape, exposed Hillary's embarrassing secret, which was the perfect way to commemorate International Women's Day. Thursday marked International Women's Day, a chance to recognize the achievements made by women from around the world and honor them for their contributions to society. First Lady Melania Trump celebrated the occasion with a beautiful message on social media, writing, Today we recognize, celebrate and honor women around the globe. She also revealed that later this month she will visit the State Department to present the Women of Courage Award to some extraordinary women. Hillary Clinton also tried to celebrate Internation Women's Day on social media, but her move backfired severely, culminating in massive humiliation for the former Secretary of State. In honor of number International Women's Day, I want to celebrate some of the women and girls who inspire me every day," Hillary tweeted on Thursday. These women resist inequality, insist on a better world, persist against all odds, and enlist others in our shared fights," she added. Hillary went on to tweet about various liberal women whom she claims have fought to make the world a better place. However, Hillary has been bullying the victims of her husband's sexual misconduct for decades, so her message fell a bit flat when she took to Twitter to shine a light on sexual assault. Rachel Denholander and the many women of U.S. gymnastics have bravely shown a light on sexual assault in sports, Hillary tweeted along with a photo of Denholander. As you can imagine, Hillary's tweet was a stinging slap in the face to Juanita Broderick, who claims she was raped by Bill Clinton in the late 1970s and then threatened by his wife to keep quiet. We are all proud of them, Hillary. Are you proud of yourself for enabling and protecting your husband, Bill Clinton, for rape and sexual assault? Broderick responded to Hillary's tweet. Broderick wasn't the only one to point out Hillary's glaring hypocrisy either. As word started to spread that the twice-failed presidential candidate actually had the nerve to try to position herself as some sort of advocate for women, fellow Twitter users came out in droves to put her in her place. What's wrong with her? I seriously doubt her intelligence. If she had half a brain, she would avoid this subject like it was the plague," commented one man. Others simply applauded Broderick's bold response to the wife of her rapist. International Women's Day was full of irony this year, Hillary's tweets were just the tip of the iceberg. The overwhelming hypocrisy of the left was also on full display when it came to women in the Trump administration and the media's refusal to give credit where credit is due. President Donald Trump has appointed more women to high-level positions within his administration than any other commander-in-chief in history, yet you didn't hear anyone on the left or in the media praising any of those groundbreaking women this week. Instead, liberals continued their onslaught of attacks against women like White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, first daughter Ivanka Trump, and Kellyanne Conway, the first woman in U.S. history to manage a winning presidential campaign. This leads any logical mind to wonder whether a woman must be liberal to get any respect from the left and their cronies in the media. So much for diversity.